Well, what's happening, everybody? Well, as you can see, I got the valve cover off. So the next thing we're gonna do is start working on removing these rocker shafts. Now these rocker shafts, there's two separate ones in here. There's one for the front half of the motor. As you can see where it's separated right here. And then there's the back half. So in order to do that, we've got to do a little bit of uh, unwiring here on the Jake brake actuators. You're gonna wanna be really careful with this wiring because uh, you know, it could be brittle. I also, I don't have, as we talked about, this is a single candle. All the injectors are electronic, electronically controlled. And then also in taking this apart, what you really wanna do is keep everything right where it was. So all of these cross heads, all of these gotta be kept in the same location. All right, well, I'm gonna try something a little different today. My brother bought me this uh, uh, body cam. You know, it holds your phone so you can get some better shots because you know you've been seeing in some of the videos where I can't film certain things because I can't uh, I can't let go of the camera or I gotta let go of the camera to do it. So just wanted to give my brother Steve a shout out there for getting me this pretty awesome little holder here for being able to do body cam footage on things that I'm doing so we're gonna put it to use right now and you know let me know in the comments what you think about the footage that comes off of it but it's pretty cool because you could tilt it down to different ways that you want to shoot and it fits about any cam you get to you lock it in place once you set it up and uh, we'll see how it goes all right here we go so first we got a Torx bit number 25 we're gonna go ahead and take the Take the wiring harness loose from all right. So I got these uh, the bolts loose off of the first uh, Jake brake actuator. Now it looks like the electrical connections, the nuts here are like captive, so they're going to stay in it. We need to go ahead and take this apart. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, there you go. All right, so I already loosened up number two. And basically you just pull the nut off. Same thing on the other side. And that's all there is to it. All right, so for the next part of this, we're gonna wanna go ahead and loosen up all the, um, the rocker arms. And for this, you're gonna need a six millimeter Allen, a three millimeter, I believe it is, three millimeter Allen. You're gonna need a 13 millimeter wrench, which I have. gonna be I think it's gonna be a 19 I can get it undone uh. all right so right here all I'm doing is just busting loose all the uh, jam nuts on the um, adjusters for the rocker arms and then backing out all the adjusters so that there's very little or no tension on the rocker arms so that there's no issues when we go ahead and pull it apart. All right, we'll see how that's working coming along right here. All right, and that's going to do it for loosening those up. Now all we got to do is pull the bolts and take this whole thing out. I'll well, be right back. All right, well, next we're going to start working on getting this cam out of here. We're going to start that by pulling this cam plate or the seal plate. It's supposed to come out of there fairly easy. So yeah, it came out of there pretty easy. All I had to do was uh, 
I took a pry bar and I just pushed on the cam a little bit and you can see it just kind of just kind of pops this thing right out real nice and easy boy that's filthy back there all right let me get that cleaned up some before it gets into everything I'll be back all right that's a little better let's see if we can get this cam out without killing ourselves once again I don't know what it weighs I know I'm gonna have to get up there and move it around some oh, man everything is so sharp in there you got to be so careful This is not fun. So many things in the way here. There we go. It's just a little bit of a nick. Wearing me out. Right, here we go. Okay. After this, it's the point of no return. You gotta see it through. Here we go. Got it. Whew. <sighs> Whew. I won. Well, that was my goal for today. I did look at the Cam bearings are a little worn in the bottom, but that's to be expected because, you know, 820,000 miles and it's, it's normal. I mean, it could have went a lot further, I think, but just with all this, you know, of course, all that's going to get replaced. So, well, yeah, that's definitely going to do it for today. I'm going to go ahead and put my cover back on and seal things up. And tomorrow, I think tomorrow's the day we're going to pull the head. Bet you're all dying to see what that's going to be like. All right, we'll catch you on the next video. See you soon.